Hello friends, this video on integers part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us have a look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Find minus 32 minus minus 40. So what are you doing? You are performing subtraction. Now let us convert it in the form of addition. So subtracting minus 40 is same as adding the additive inverse of minus 40. So additive inverse of minus 40 would be plus 40. Now adding a positive integer and a negative integer. What is the trip? What is the tip? Find the difference. So 40 minus 32 is 8. Which is bigger? 32 or 40? 40 is bigger. So it would be plus. So the answer is plus 8. Let's look at this one. So here also we will perform the same thing. Minus 20 minus 13. Instead of subtracting 30. Let's say we are adding additive inverse of 13. Which is minus 13. So now this time you are adding two negative integers. So find their sum. 20 plus 13 would be 33. And put a negative sign. So minus 33 is the answer. Question number 2. Fill in the blanks. 13 plus dash is equal to 0. So what is that number which when added to a given number gives 0? It is nothing but additive inverse of 13. So additive inverse of 13 is minus 13. 12 plus minus 12 is equal to. So you see minus 12 and 12 they are additive inverse of each other. So their sum is 0. Minus 4 plus what gives minus 12? So you see, that means you are adding two numbers such that the result is negative. Correct? So let us say we do not know what is this number. So if you keep this question mark here and if you transpose this minus 4, you take it to the right hand side of the equation, then what happens? This minus 4 becomes plus 4. So that is how we solve simple equations, right? So you take this minus 4 to the right hand side. So minus 12 plus 4. So this is adding one positive and one negative integer. So find their difference which is 8 which is bigger 12 or 4. 12 is bigger so this will have a minus sign. So therefore this question mark should be replaced by minus 8. Question number 3. Find minus 13 plus 32 minus 8 minus 1. So in, in these kind of problems where you have multiple terms maybe 3, 4 or 5 terms what you do you take you uh, collect all the positive terms together, you collect all the negative terms together. So that is what we will do here. So here we have three negative terms. So let us put them all together. Minus 13, minus 8, minus 1, plus 32. So this basically means minus 13, plus minus 8, plus minus 1, plus 32. So what would be the sum of minus 13 and minus 8? So adding two negative numbers, so you will find their sum 13 plus 8 would be 21 and you put a negative sign. Now this when added to minus 1 plus 32. So again in this case you see you are adding two negative integers. So you find the sum which is 22 and you put a negative sign. So now this when added to 32, this time you have one negative integer and one positive integer. So what you do? You find the difference. So 32 minus 22 is 10 and you put the sign of the bigger number. So here the bigger number is 32. So 32 has a positive sign. So the answer would be positive. Let's look at the next one. 50 minus minus 40 minus minus 2. So in this case, again, let us do the same thing. So 50 minus minus 40. So subtracting a number is the same as adding its additive inverse. So this becomes 50 plus 40. Similarly in this case also subtracting minus 2 is same as adding the additive inverse of minus 2. So additive inverse of minus 2 is plus 2. So you have all positive integers which need to be added. So 50 plus 40 would be 90. 90 plus 2 would be 92. So 92 would be the answer. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.